Anything else? No. Uh, Dr. Dill, um, <coughs> a fairly comfortable uh, victory in the end, um, but you did actually secure a far lower percentage of the vote than, than your predecessor, um, Kathleen Simmons, who in 2020 won close to 60%. Uh, I think you're around about in the 30s. Um, does that surprise you at all? Was that because of the fact that this was a four-horse race? Or? Yeah, it was a four-horse race, so um, that was to be expected. And um, in terms of there were four of us running, and I'm just excited about the fact that we came through victorious. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Well and Premier, well if I may ask, um, speculation, the speculation that um, if the PLP was successful, if Dr. Deal was successful this evening, that um, that might prompt you to perhaps call an early election. Uh, can you comment on this? this yeah, everyone uh, wants to be inside of speculation. Tonight is a celebration and a confirmation yes. that a daughter of Sands has retained the seat for the Progressive Labour Party. And that is the only discussion that we will have this evening inside of this party. That is where we are focused and we are proud of the work in which she's done. But I need to talk to the constituents of Sands North. She is new on the doorstep. But I promise you that this daughter of Sands, just like Senator Lindsey Simmons, yes. who has continued to canvass, will continue to work, continue to meet voters, continue to make sure that we fill the gaps. Because let's be clear, there are challenges. But when you have a government that is committed to working people, committed to investment, continue, committed to work hard, we are going to continue to serve the people of Sands North. And the people of Sands North have an amazing representative in Reverend Dr. Emily Gale Dill. This has um, much, much like the last uh, Sands North election, mm -hmm. this is, uh, we've got a result here where the majority of the people mm -hmm. who voted mm -hmm. did not get who they wanted. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to work with what, that in the, coming, in the coming uh, months, and we, months, years to, to bring those voters to yourself? Well, certainly I want to take the opportunity to thank the other candidates. Um, it has been um, an interesting journey and we intend to continue to work along with them. I've heard almost every one of them say that they intend to continue to work along with us and I look forward to it. I want to take this opportunity especially to thank the Sands community and the constituents of Cons Constituency 36, the officers, the members of the yes. brand yes. for their hard work because I know that I would not have made it without their help. Mm -hmm. So I'm really, really excited about what the future holds for us. Um, I know that there are individuals that did not vote for me, a, a high percentage, of course, with a four horse race. But what I did find was that the people in this constituency are ready to move forward. They want good representation, and I intend to be there for them. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank you, 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 thank you.